Question three, um, we've got an implicit function here and it asks us to differentiate it, find dy by dx. So we're going to differentiate a term at a time and then rearrange it to make it say dy by dx equals. So differentiating the y sine 2x, we're going to use the product rule and that is to differentiate the first term and leave the second term alone. When we differentiate y with respect to x, we get dy by dx. So we're going to have dy by dx sine 2x plus, leave the first term alone, that's the y, differentiate the second term. When we differentiate sine 2x, we're going to get 2 cos 2x using the chain rule. When we differentiate 1 over x, don't forget 1 over x is the same as x to the minus 1, move the power to the front and take 1 off the power. So that's going to be negative x to the negative 2. Again, that we can obviously simplify. I may as well do that now. So that was negative x to the minus 2, which is the same as negative 1 over x squared. Plus y squared when we differentiate it. Again, we're going to use the chain rule. We're going to pretend it's a, an x and differentiate it. So that's going to be 2 x, so in this case 2y, but then we're going to times by the differential of the y, and when we differentiate y we get dy by dx, so that's going to be 2y dy by dx equals what we get when we differentiate 5, when we differentiate a constant we get 0. So the next job is to now write, be able to write down dy by dx equals something. So in order to do that we need to take the two dy by dx terms that we've got and factor the dy by dx out. So we're going to have dy by dx times by sine 2x and the 2y. At the same time, we're going to move anything without a dy by dx to the right hand side, so it's out of the way. So that's the minus x squared, so that's going to become positive 1 over x squared, and take away 2y cos 2x. And the final step is to di divide by the bracket that we've got so that we're left with dy by dx on its own. Now that does look a bit funny with this fraction in the fraction. It doesn't state that we can't have anything um, can't have it looking like that in the question so I I'm gonna leave it like that I don't have the mark scheme yet um, so if I need to come back and edit that then I will do but I, I can't see any re reason why we can't leave it in this form